a special treat today. We have some Macaroni's Caledonian. This is from the nearest distillery to where we are right now. It's just Local. 10 minutes up the road. And there's a lot of writing on here. Which is actually kind of cool. Yeah, it is cool. And this stuff is somewhat hard to find, hard to get. You can go to the distillery and you can ask for it and they won't have any because they sold out. Oh, where'd you get it? I got it at the distillery. Oh. There was one expression of theirs that I went to the distillery about five times before I actually decided maybe I should call them and see if they have any. So I would call them up and say, do you have any of the house expression? And they would say, no, we don't have it. Is that like their signature? Yeah, uh, but it's underneath the bar right now, so I, oh, okay. I didn't pull it out. I'm, I'm sort of trying them in the order in which I acquired them. Okay, yeah. So this one here. Have you tried this one before? No. Oh. It's still sealed. <gasps> oh, this is exciting. You've never tried it. Yeah. When I make a video, I've never tried the whiskey before. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So the one we just had, you'd never tried? That's right. Whoa. <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. I had no idea. Yeah. Whoa. But if I don't like a whiskey when I first try it, I may come back a few months later and try it again. Try it again? Because it changes. Oh, why? Because it breathes? Yeah. Basically, oh. it reacts with the oxygen in the air, and it but changes. You put the cork back on, or even if you put the cork back on, it's, it's going to react yeah. with the air that's in the top of the bottle. No, I get it. Yeah, well, so, that's somewhat like wine too, isn't it? Yeah, but wine goes bad. No, quicker. but I hear that you open it and let it breathe. Oh yeah, yeah. You can do the same with, thing with whiskey. This is pretty young though. This is only three or four years old. And where's is there a pull tab on there? Do you see a pull tab? Oh, wait. I, yeah. think, I think I found it. I think I got it. Good thing I didn't clip my nails. Okay. It's darker, no? It is kind of dark. I don't think they colored it. I think this is, uh, well, what kind of, well, we got to find you, out what kind of... Uh, you mean people actually color their whiskey? Yeah, they do. Well, oh, that's stupid. Why would they You're do right. That? It is stupid. Why but would they do that? You know why they do it is because... It's more appealing, like yeah. People, people, sort of, um, in the past. I don't know about these days so much, but people would find it to be a sign of quality if it was darker, and they wanted their if they would have a row of bottles on the on a shelf, they wanted them to all be the same color, so they would add the coloring to give it, you know, the right amount of color. Mm, but that's like adding stuff that is not necessary. That's right. You're catching on. In yeah. fact, you've got it. You you got it. Yeah. So, what about would they ever actually put it in a a dark, a dark bottle so you wouldn't know? Yes, they do. Mm. And I hate when they do that mm. because then you don't know how much whiskey you got. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good pop too. Oh yeah, nice. Now oh, let's get you some of it. this one is stronger than the last one. Oh, we had. good. So I'm not giving you a lot. <laughs> Unless you want more. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I like You're going to be good with that? Okay. Yeah, I'll be fine with that. Okay, this one you'll have to sip a little slower because it is stronger. Oh, okay. How much stronger is it? This one is bottled, I think, at 46%. And the other one was what? The other one was at 40 Oh, dear. Yeah. Holy, that's a big, that's a bit of a jump. A bit of a jump, yes. And there was one other thing I wanted to bring out here. That's quite like... For you know, for for whiskey, that's a big, that's a big gap. Yep. And it, they can be like that, huh? There are some that are a lot stronger than that. This is a lot of people consider forty six percent to be the ideal drinking strength for whiskey. Wow, that's because it has more. If you add alcohol to it, it carries the flavor more. Oh, okay. So a lot of people who are... Really? Uh, yeah, a lot of people who who are really into whiskey, they find it difficult to drink 40% alcohol whiskey because it's it tastes bland and... and um, Does it go down as easy? It's not as... No, it goes down too easy. It's too... It, it, oh. has, it, it, it misses flavors. And you get more flavor out of a whiskey with more alcohol to a certain point. I like my whiskey between 46 and 52% alcohol by volume. Okay. That, to me, is the ideal drinking strength. 52%? Above 52%, I can't it becomes even, hard. I can't even believe it gets up that high. Well, we've got one here. 
we got a sample here that's 61.6. Because I feel like... We've got another one here that is uh, uh, 57.5. Like, I feel like vodka is just all the same. Yeah, that's vodka. Does it fluctuate, too? No. I think most vodkas are around 40%. That's it. Oh, okay. See, that's what I mean. I didn't know that, that that's kind of weird. But I'm not really a vodka drinker, so I don't no. I don't know much about it. No, I know, but like it just it's it's funny that there's so many different kinds of whiskey and this and that, but with vodka it's just like one kind of here it is. Well they they do have different flavors though. Yeah, they? they have different flavors, yeah. but anyways, okay. Okay. So this one here is uh Macaloni's Caledonian Invermally Island Single Malt Whiskey, single cask, limited release. Okay, so this is from one barrel. This is not blended or mixed or anything. This is from one barrel. It was put in the barrel and it was dumped and bottled. After how long? Probably about three or four years. Okay, and then look, it also has an award. World Whiskey Awards. Category winner. Okay. Mm. So the information here, 46% PPM scale. Okay, there's... there's there's our whales. Whales, yes. There's, there's, that's, that's there's funny, whales on the box right yeah, there. Yeah, because you can go whale watching here. <laughs> that's right. Cask number 62. Bottle number 13 of 374. Bottled on 11 of 20. Oh, that's interesting. They, so, they actually, on every single bottle of whiskey, do they actually tell you the story? No, but they do here. Oh, that's kind of nice to know. Yeah, so... And what else does it? Okay, it's a it's a single cask. And what else does it say on here? There's a lot of writing on here. It's really cool, and it's got our picture of the. Uh, ah, there's Vancouver Island right there. Mm -hmm. it's a, that's very cool. It's the little map. Nice box. I would read this. I think it's a it's a wine. Oh wait finish. a minute! Did you need your um, handy dandy? Well, maybe. <laughs> um, here it says. Carefully matured in a premium recharred red wine barrel. Okay. So they, they took a, a red wine barrel. So it had red wine in it. They didn't like clean it or anything, and they put the, that in no, it? No, it says it was recharred. So what does recharred mean? That means they, they put fire to the to the wood of the barrel to, to make it charred on the inside. So it's got red wine and a smoky flavor, maybe? No, I don't know. We'll find out what kind of flavor it has. Okay. But but it was a red wine barrel that was yeah, so you... scraped on the inside and then recharred. So I don't know scraped? how much. Scraped? Yeah, they scrape, they scrape the char off and then they rechar it. Yeah, but I would think that they did that for a reason. I mean, they had they used a red wine. But it says it was recharred, so yeah. I, I'm just assuming that would that would add flavor of some sort. Like they're not doing that for nothing. Mm. Putting it in a red wine bin. Yeah, that would add the flavor, but it says it's recharged. Yeah, but if you light it on fire with that flavoring on it, it's going to taste a little bit like that. No. It, maybe it it would bring out the red wine a little bit, a smokiness. Maybe. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. I, I'm talking nonsense. But okay. it, to me, it makes sense. It's, it's, <laughs> and maybe it makes no sense to you, but it makes sense to me. Well, maybe. Well, but, there's but, no. Well, why would they do that then? Why wouldn't they put it in a fresh barrel? Well, if they put it in a fresh barrel, then you'd get virgin oak. Okay, but what I'm saying is, every bottle that they make of this, they do it the same way. No. Yeah, there are only 374 bottles of this. Wow, that's actually exciting. That's how many there were made. You probably can't get this anymore. Oh, wow. It's limited edition, or? Yeah, I would say so. Oh, really? 374 bottles? Maybe it's pretty just, limited. Maybe they're testing the market and seeing how well it does. Or or they just had a barrel of this, and they decided to bottle it. it. Okay. Yeah. But, like I said, to make it again, they'd have to get a, a barrel with red wine in it and char it again and do the whole process again, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would taste different. And you know what? Even if they did that again, oh. it would taste different because every barrel is unique. Every barrel is different. Yeah, I get that. But yeah. actually, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I can smell red wine. Yeah, good. Can you? Yeah. I'm getting some... I can smell red wine. I'm getting some red wine from that, too. Oh, now I'm like... I'm almost thinking sherry. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, it's a little bit like sherry. Well, I don't, I don't like that stuff, but... I, it reminds me of my nan. 
I have a lot of sherry, uh, sherry, uh, not sherry, but whiskey that was aged in sherry casks. Okay, because Nan used to have a little, little nip of sherry. Okay. And I'm, oh, I've had it, and it's uh, not my thing. Mine but, either. But she loved it. Mine either, but... Scottish. But there are sherry... There are whiskeys that are aged in sherry casks that are actually quite good. Mm -hmm. I don't like all of them, but some of them are really nice. Mm, I don't know why it reminded me of that. No, there you go. <laughs> okay. That's what, it does remind me of that. I don't know why. Yeah, okay. No, no, that's good. That's, that, that, that's a tasting note. So we are getting some wine out of that. I'm getting some wine as well. I'm getting some dark chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, I don't, I'm not a big chocolate person, but I can smell that when you say that. Yeah, I'm getting some dark chocolate. I wouldn't have thought that until I, yeah, I, could, I could it's smell it. It's that power of suggestion once again, right? Well, I don't eat dark chocolate, but I can, I can smell that a bit. Yeah. A little bit. That's mostly what I'm getting is the, the wine and the dark chocolate. Do they actually add cocoa to wine? Is that actually a thing? No, I think that it it comes from the from the wine itself, the the wine and the wood. It's the combination of the wine and the wood and the char that makes uh -huh. it. A lot of sherry cask whiskeys and wine matured whiskeys, or wine finished or sherry finished whiskeys have that chocolate note to it. Well, it's just weird that there's no chocolate at all in it, though. No, but it it. It's rich, is it? It has. You said dark something. It has compounds in there. That when they come together, they remind you of chocolate. Okay, yeah. It's all chemistry. Yeah, no, it is, yeah. for sure. And I wouldn't have thought about it like that. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have. Mm. This one may take a while to open up. Why? Because you just opened it up? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, but you just opened the other one up, too. Yeah, but this one might take a little longer. Because I'm only getting the, the dark chocolate... And a little bit of a. a I, I smell the I smell a wine. The and wine it, and, and the and dark sher chocolate. Sherry for some reason. Maybe it's maybe it's the combo of the wine, and the and the scotch. What's sherry? Sherry is a fortified wine from Spain. But what is fortified? Well, it means that it's it's wine, that has had alcohol added to it after it was made. So so, so it's stronger than very than powerful. Your, then. It's stronger than your regular wine. Oh, Nan. You did it. No wonder. No, no wonder. She always just had a little one. Yep. I'll have a sherry, and I'm like, ew, sherry. But she just had like a little one. Yeah, it's fortified wine. It's stronger than oh. wine that you just make. And I wonder if it's a thing in Scotland. Um, yeah, could be. Well, geez, that's where she's right, born and raised there. Right. But you know, different people in in Scotland drink, drink different things. Yeah. No, I got you. A lot of them drink gin and. But it does, like, because I've smelt her sherry a million times. It just says there's something about it that maybe, like you said, a wine with another liquor to it. Yeah. And I can actually get you some sherry cask whiskey to try as well to compare to this. Oh. I'm also getting a little bit of a, a salty kind of maritime note here. A little bit briny. I have some legs. You have legs. Oh, you have... You have uh, trails of very tiny droplets. Mm, okay, those aren't lights. No. And I have oh, sheeting action and trails of droplets once again. What's sheeting action? Well, if you look at it, look at it carefully. As Okay. See how it sheets right down? Like right, what, what it, it just, just did? Yeah. That's. Okay. Yeah. That's Cascade. <laughs> Cascade. Yeah, you know the the, the dishwasher <laughs> soap, and they called it. They said Cascade with sheeting action. Yeah. Remember those old commercials? Well, from, I do. Yeah, yes, it, I there, do. There you go. Okay. Okay. I wonder what we'll get on the palate. Because right now I'm just getting the 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 wine, the dark chocolate, and a little bit of a salty maritime note, but that's about it. Actually, I'm not. I I smell tequila. <laughs> Actually, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now that it's opening up a little bit, I am getting some salted caramel. Really? Just a hint. I don't know what's in tequila, but it smells like that. Tequila. Yeah, I can smell like salt and... Okay, so you're getting the salt too. Well, tequila, I'm just thinking it smells like tequila, doesn't it? No? At all? 
No, tequila would, tequila would be a lot sweeter. Okay, well, I think. I'm not a big fan of tequila because I went to Mexico at 16. <laughs> it was New Year's. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Let's see what the palette does. Uh, a little bit of water. Okay, should I have my water? I guess that, that's bad. Actually, you got crackers. Crackers are good for cleansing the palate. I love, but they have to be triscuits. That's fine. You can use those. Now I'm plugging. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You know, this this is my second time, right? Like, like this is crazy. You got to take small sips. It was a small sip. Okay. Well, I'm getting, I'm getting the wine. I'm getting a dark, and dark chocolate as well. Dark chocolate wine. That's what it tastes wine. like now. Yeah. Are you getting a bit of a saltiness too? I'm getting salty. To be honest, well, I know you're getting salty. Yeah. We all know that. Uh, okay. No, but I'm just <laughs> at first, honestly, it was like a lot to handle. There was a lot going on there. For me, it was really overpowering. And if you take but it, it, I'm not a wine. I mean, a whiskey. But then I, after it was chocolate, the dark yeah. chocolate, the dark chocolate. So that was just the first sip. So once again, the nose hasn't changed. It's still the same. This one is a lot better than the one I have I had. allergies right now, so I can't really. <laughs> this one is a lot better than the one I had last week. Oh, really? Yeah. Is it a uh, different color? Uh, well, let's find out. I did have a macaroni's last week. How many did they make? Five. And that's it? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, that's it so far, but they might have some so, others going. So funny. Do you actually know for a fact that they're not going to re-release that? They might release another one, but right. similar to it. Because that's weird. It's a single barrel. This one here is uh, also in Vermali, but it's um, premium Portuguese port barrique. So this was a uh, this was a different one. Yeah. This was the port barrique bottle, one hundred and seven out of two hundred and ninety six. And I didn't really like this one. That's the one I had last week. Oh, okay. This is the one we're having this week. I prefer it to, to the okay. Port Barrique one. And that's quite a bit lighter. Which is strange because usually I prefer a port finish to a wine finish. But this time I prefer the wine finish to the port finish. Mm. I'm going to just yeah, take right. a little bit of the port from last week okay. to see if it... Can I? Just yeah. because we, I, I have to compare. You can. Okay. You oh. or I'll drink it in the same glass from this one. Okay. Yeah, same one. I mean, we'll have to dirty. Well, we're going to be dirtying some glasses anyway tonight. Okay. Just to see the difference? Yeah. Not like I actually really want to, to be honest. <laughs> Am I going to hate it? I think it's getting better than it was. Oh. Try. Small, well, there's not much left in there. What, what, what percentage is that one? 46. Same. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not liking the smells of these. No. Well, I okay. I'm new at this. Yeah, it's, it, it it takes it, they're they're it's strong. It takes a while to get into it. And so. it is a strong alcohol. Yeah. And and I, I and at forty six percent. Yes, and I will also admit to you that I've never given you anything stronger than forty. Oh. <laughs> All those whiskeys you've tried before. Oh no. Maybe one of them was at forty two. Oh gosh, it really does smell um. I'm just gonna... Okay. Yeah, you gotta take your time with it, right? <laughs> oh, what a face! Yeah. <laughs> what an expression! I know. I just don't know how you like like it. It's an acquired taste. It it takes time. I'm trying. You know, you're you're, you're doing good. You're putting in a very valiant effort. I am trying, actually. You're doing really well. Because it it to me it it's not like the after effects are enjoyable. <laughs> But it's, but the delivery is a little more it's, it's, than you're used it's, to. Yeah. It's yeah, it's yeah. I'd much rather not, uh, I'd much rather load it down with some Pepsi. <laughs> you can do that if you want. No, because then you're not getting the no. idea. But no, here's the idea. The idea is to enjoy it any way you like. Oh, okay, well then I'm not enjoying it. I mean, I am. 
But I'm not. But if you're not, and you want to, and if you ser- serve it a different way, Can, what about if we do both together? Is that like a thing? No. Okay. We made our own. Just kidding. Well, if you want to do both together, no, I don't actually. Go ahead. <laughs> you <don't. laughs> and you pour them together, and you and go, then it okay. becomes a blend. No, no? it's oh. still a single malt. But that's what you were doing over there with that other thing, wasn't it? Putting the. What you're explaining to me. You take some out and then you put some of the one in. Oh yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. okay. Now right here I have. Hey, a... there's a picture on here, you know. Yeah. Okay. So that's uh. This here is the uh, the one from last week. I'll put that away. What picture does that one have on? Let's see. The picture. Oh, there are the stills. It's the same. Oh, there's stills on that one too. No, it's the same, right? See. Yes. Yes. That's kind of cool. It's the same. A lot of thought went into the packaging on this. Oh, yeah. So, uh, we're still going, and we're at 20 minutes already. Okay, you're, you got to slang it back now, huh? Mm. We've, had, we've had quite a bit of discussion in this. Well, video. because there's a lot to discuss. There is. Yeah. They do taste totally different. Mm-hmm. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and say that this one was, was harsher for me than that one. Well, in my in my mind, in my palate, this one has had a week to mellow. It has been reacting with the air for a week. Oh, I see. This one was freshly opened, right? And that's another thing that I like to do. So at, that, yeah, that, that, I mean, that's hard to that's hard to figure out actually. At this time. Oh my god! I thought that was crown royal. <laughs> it is. What? What is this? Okay, this is an infinity bottle. I am going to put. Oh my god, it is a Crown Royal bottle. It's Crown Royal XR bottle. It is my one of my Canadian infinities. This one has already a dram missing from it because I had that last week. Yeah, and now it's going to taste completely different. Now I add right? this right? to my infinity bottle. Uh-huh. And it's going to taste different than the last yeah, one. Yeah, so it, it evolves. It is actually ever-changing. Yes. And, wow. And you... just because of that... <laughs> Uh, what? Just because I like the idea so much. Yeah. I have a second Canadian Infinity bottle. This one is uh, from a forty-one-year-old Canadian club, but so it's never actually been empty. Oh uh, yes, that it bottle? has. It has been. Yes. Oh okay. But then when I started, cool, cool bottles though too. Actually, when I started the bottle. I started with the one dram, and then I, I like added another dram to it, and another dram to it, and now it's full. No, but you know what I mean? Like, the bottles are really cool. Look at that. Yeah. Is that... No, what's this? Canadian CC? Club. Oh, Canadian Club. Canadian Club 41. Oh! Euros. Oh, I love, the, I love the bottles. So now that I've added some of this to them, it's a... Uh, this is part of the evolving... Infinity bottles that I have going for Canadian whiskey. <laughs> yeah, like you honestly. And these are, on um, these are the ones that are open now, but and, and but they they're blending and mixing and marrying together with what was in there before. No, I get it, but when do you take a chance to drink those? Like, is that just like on off camera? Like, is um, that just like a? Yeah, sometimes. Usually, it's off camera. Uh, that's what happened last week. See, I was dipping into these to make room for the ones that I was right. putting in. And then you went to film and you were like, oops. And then it's like, oh, I drank too they much didn't, too fast. They didn't see that part. They didn't see it yet because it's only going up in two weeks. <laughs> oh, <laughs> spoiler. <laughs> but this one's going up in three weeks. Oh, okay. Because I always record in advance. You know, I, 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 like, I like the bottles. I really do. This is a neat bottle. Yep. I've got a few like that. Uh, like it's so thick the glass. Yeah. Actually, actually, this is true. Um, Shaden had a bottle of uh, the Crown Royal. Uh huh. It was his birthday, right? Okay. And boys do dumb things. Okay. So he had heard that you can't actually smash a bottle of Crown Royal. That the glass is too strong. Where did he hear that? I don't know where he heard it, but he heard it. So he he decided that he's going to go to the carport and throw it in the carport just to see if it would smash. Okay. And it didn't smash. Oh. 
And then he tried it again, and then it smashed everywhere. Oh. <laughs> did, he, did he hurt himself? No. No? He didn't hurt himself. Well, that's good. No, but, but it, then, then there's glass all over my carport all over the place, and he didn't clean it up. We did. Oh. Yeah. Anyways, apparently it's a thing, like, cause, and you can tell by this bottle because it's so thick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's kind of cool. That's, these are my two Canadian infinities. So anyway, uh, we've been going on for quite some time again because uh, the time passes so fast okay. when you're having fun. Yeah. And when you're enjoying it and, and uh, sharing whiskey. Oh, <laughs> I don't know if I can. Well, let's, let's find out what our cheers box will say today. What does that mean? Well, this is a cheers box. You push the button and it gives you a cheers. Okay. I don't know what that was, but it was a somebody saying. No, it wasn't. It was someone that drank that whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Could be. It didn't say anything. That was gibberish. It was to to you and me. Cheers. Food quick. <laughs> Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Food quick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>